Brutal Steel is a powerful software that is capable of organizing a detailed standard drawing and then be able to plot this drawing successfully to PDF. So in this video, you are going to be learning all the necessary settings required for you to be able to plot this drawing to stoning PDF successfully in this video. So stay connected as we get started. Now, this is the drawing we are going to be plotting to PDF from Protast directly. I will show you how I get here. But at first, you can see that this general arrangement drawing is being arranged properly into a title block and then i want to say this title block i imported it from autocad into protest steel and i organized this uh, i organized this drawing into this title block successfully in protest steel and these title blocks names are editable so if you double click on this name right here you can see the text property right here so you can be able to give this sheet a name and then you can also be able to change the font from here and as well the color even the text height of the text you are actually typing you can change it so this title block is editable all right another thing you should understand here are uh, these are viewports you can see the green uh, lines around the drawings right here uh, these are uh, viewports so you can be able to create this adjust this and work on this for instance for the viewport for this particular uh 3d drawings you see this drawing doesn't have a name so if you double click on this viewport you can have the viewport property editor so in this viewport property editor over here is the name of this particular model which is 3d all right so you can be able to change it to your liking like right here okay another thing that is very important is the scale of this 3d drawing you can see the scale is 50 so you can also change it to 70 so now you increase the scale the drawing will be smaller so if i click on apply you can see the drawing is smaller all right so over here if i change it to 50 right here i click on apply you see the drawing is bigger all right if i change it to 100 right here the drawing will be much smaller just like this all right so this is very important and how you can control your drawing with a standard scale in protest steel it is very very necessary i will change it back to uh scale one is to 70 right here and then i apply another thing you should know is that this drawing does not have a title you can see all of this other one have a title just as i said earlier here is the title right here so if you want to enable it right here you can click in this label settings dialog uh, tab right here okay so over here choose this button if you want to place this title top you can also choose top if you want to place the title to the uh left upper corner or right upper corner you can place it successfully but i want it here and then if you want to look at this out of the viewport you can ch check this provision if you want it to be within the viewport you leave this provision on check and again the title block uh text can be you know arranged right here so you can see the text height right here and then you can be able to select the font as well as the color right there i click on the okay options so here you need to check right okay so this will be right once we apply from here you can see 3d view has been created as the uh title of this particular drawing in this viewport successfully so a lot of changes and detailed options are also here which we normally teach them properly in our master class so we are inviting you to join our master class you can get our link in the description of this video successfully okay so i'll click on the okay options now you can be able to adjust the viewport if this is too big by the time you hover your cursor on this viewport line you can see that i have a sign the cursor change to i so i can left click and drag it down all right just like this the same thing in the bottom i can over my cursor and then i have a high sign of the cursor i move it up and then do the same thing in these directions and then i move it this way all right so this is how you properly adjust your viewport to fit your drawing in successfully just like this so here we go i want to actually show you how i get here all right so to, for you to get here it is through this drawings manager if you double click this drawing manager you can see in the manager dialog here is the drawing that we are working on for instance if i close this now and i click here to close this drawing i click on yes options to effect the changes we have made i double click on the drawing manager 
right here you can see that i have general drawing if i double click on it this will be created i close this now and then here is the drawing all right this is how i actually got here want to get back to the main protest still interface you can double click in this uh model view option so once you double click here this will take you to the protest still interface just like this where you make your connections and then prepare and then come to drawing to actually uh, view your drawings and then edit your drawings, create drawings in this provision. So we are having a master class that is ongoing of protest All right. So we will teach you protest from A to Z. If you check very well on this drawing, you can see that all of this member has its uh, name. Okay. You can see here IPE 200, the profile name for the columns. All of this has it. So this will help you and if you check the profile name here yeah, it's different from the profile name here yeah. so i want to explain these two things this is for an assembly drawings all right so those assembly drawings you created will be labeled this so once you see a slash two you should know that it is a beam rafter all right the first beam rafter and then a slash a one is the second beam rafter likewise for the columns successfully so this one are the assembly number and this is the profile name for this particular uh member successfully okay so all of this will be explained properly in the master class and also you can join our youtube membership if you join our youtube membership we'll be posting most of these detailed explanations of protest detail drawings right there as well for our members so kindly join our uh our youtube membership successfully now let us go into printing this whole of these drawings that we have organized into pro uh, into a uh, pdf okay so for us to do that we will have to close this particular window so i click in this provisions yes options to close this window now this window is closed i'll come back to uh, drawings uh manager i double click right there so i have this so any drawing you know in the normal way we do it is that uh, you have to select the drawings and then you click on the export so this will now take you to autocad where you now start to work on the drawing spot you can be able to work on these drawings right away in prota still and then you'll be able to print it to pdf from prota still directly without even getting to autocad so if you want to print any of these drawings you just have to select it like here this is the connection drawing if i double click let's look at this connection drawings that i actually created and organize it in a title block as well so if i close this now here is the connection drawings you can see so all of the connections has been uh, created in 2d and 3d and then you can see over here organized successfully you can as well print that all right so i will click on these options and then click on yes options to close this double click on this drawings uh, manager we want to print these drawings now to pdf all right so have it selected just like this and then come to this print options click on it then over here in the print drawings dialog expand this dialog because a part of it is actually uh mixing expand it so you can see everything just like this all right from here the first thing you need to do is that you are going to set a printer okay see printer setting click on this so over here I see my printer name is pdf so make sure you select pdf from here all right i use nitro pro pdf all right then the paper size is a3 so if yours is not a3 make sure you select a3 and then over orientation you make sure that you set it to landscape you can come to this property as well and then come to pages and be able to confirm the settings you have done successfully after we click on the ok options and then ok from here as well now over here for the options the numbers of copies all right you have to make it available here and the page layout is at the you know upper left corner that you are going to check all right then over here apply line thickness you have to check it print out but uh, boundary you will check it print viewport boundary all right you can decide to check this but this at default may not necessarily print viewport boundary you understand so after which the next thing the margin is zero zero as you can see from here click on the ok options then you proceed here is the name of the drawing that we are to print this one okay so you see there are one drawing selected all right this one right there meaning over here we select only one drawing you can see so if you select two drawings over here it will actually reflect here that you selected two drawings okay and those drawings will be printed accordingly all right then you proceed to print by size or print by fittings so you can use any of these two in as much as you have set your drawings and your a3 size paper 
and then you can use any of these options so i want to print by size if i click on this so this will be you know enable a dialog a window explorer we are i will be navigating to a provision to actually save this uh save these drawings all right so this drawing i want to save it to the desktop or to save it to a uh, document wherever you wished all right you can be able to select through this place to save it successfully okay so now i want to be saving this here in my document so what i'm going to do i will just uh give it a name as two uh three four all right general drawings two three four all right after which i click on save so once i click on save this will be compacted to a stunning pdf just like this you can see so you see the drawings is very neat everything is very arranged and organized as well as the title block right here i can adjust this or i hold the control key and screw this so you can see everything just like this the dimension everything is very nice so this is how you can properly you know print your drawing directly from Prota steel to pdf so you can print as many of your drawing you wish to print directly without even using any other software like autocad and the rest of that okay so we are inviting you to join our master class on Prota steel and then you will really enjoy using this program to complete your work successfully okay so this is where we are going to be stopping all right so if you have any question you drop it in the comment section all right drop your question in the comment sections and drop a comment how do you see this drawings that we just printed how do you see it uh is it nice okay is it nice is it not too good how do you see the drawings drop your questions we want to hear your uh, questions and your recommendations on this uh, video we created don't forget to like do not forget to also subscribe to our channel for more useful video like this and then join our channel membership all right click on the join button on our channel to join the membership and you have access to private videos that are well organized and then you will learn a lot from it okay so here we go we will be stopping here see you in the next presentations have a great day and bye for now